What's going on, guys? Welcome back to The Save Show. This is your host, Justin. This is a regularly updated journal or blog of mine where you get to see in real time as I struggle to become a better man, better husband, better father, and most importantly, you'll see as I struggle to walk closer to Christ each and every day. Christ is a primary focus. Thanks for all the support lately. The follower count on Spotify continues to climb, and for that I'm very appreciative. Uh, if you can, the one of the ways to support the show is to listen on Spotify. Uh, we did have an ad break on here, uh, which is great, just with the Spotify for Podcaster platform that I record and distribute with. So if you want to support the show, Spotify is a great place to go listen because to get that ad uh, listener count was a factor. But... If you can only listen on Apple Podcasts and some of the other sources, please do so, and uh, very grateful for all the listeners out there. Another great way to support the show is to go check us out on Instagram, uh, making reels every day of the week. Uh, sometimes it's a post, but more often it's a reel. That's been a challenge of mine for almost a full year now to create once a day, sometimes more. And I've curated it a little bit, so you're not going to see 365 posts on that Instagram page, but uh, just go check out The Save Show on Instagram. Uh, I think some of it's funny, some of it's, uh, I don't know, edgy, some of it's probably cringe, but nevertheless, uh, it's out there. So since that year-long journey is almost up, we plan on doing a live stream where I'll go back and look at some of the memes, and if you want to tune in, uh, feel free. I think it'll just be nostalgic, cathartic, maybe to go back and, and look at all the progress in the last year. So it's another great way to support the show. And lastly, um, the other great way is to check out the save.store. We are shutting down that store page next month. Uh, this has been a great hobby of mine to create designs, put it on shirts, mugs, hats, uh, things like that, and try to get it out to you. Um, just going to redesign um, how that all works so we're shutting down the store page in its current form and we'll work with something else in the future uh, so if you would like to participate uh, go purchase one of those designs shirts hats things of that nature uh, there is a five dollar discount per item so that's applied when you check out and uh, also at checkout you can get another five dollar discount if you type in the promo code the way t-h-e-w-a-y no space um, so go ahead, check out the store page uh, while it lasts. We're just going to go until August. I think it's the middle of August uh, is my um, payment plan for the Shopify platform. So we're just going to turn it off before that next um, payment goes through and we'll lose the, we'll lose the store page. But we'll, we'll have something new here shortly. Uh, the other way to s support this show is to just share it. Word of mouth works well. Um, so... Spotify is a great place to listen. Go check out Instagram and check out the store page and please share the show. Whew. With all that out of the way, I uh, just wanted to jump in. We took a week off, uh, rested, recharged, reloaded, as it were. Uh, my fiercest supporter, my wife, said that I might have been getting a little vague in my, in my episodes. So took a week off. Wanted to make sure I'm providing value with the show and talking about things that actually I want to talk about. Not that I have talked about things that I don't want to talk about. Rather, I need to talk about things in a way that provides value that I'm on fire for instead of coming to this microphone and recording once a week, no matter you know what the topic is. I just need to be speaking in order to put something out weekly, if that makes sense. This hobby doesn't need to feel like a chore, I guess, is the bottom line. So we're back. I've uh, been keeping up with the marathon training. We'll do a, a fit cast here this week, get back into that. Um, TBD on the um, subject matter therein. But with my marathon training, I have recently signed up with my buddy who's a personal trainer. He just came out with his own app platform, uh, TKG uh, Workouts, I think is his name on Instagram. I've shared his stuff. If you're out there, um, go check it out. It's been pretty cool. You log into the app and you've got a workout for the day. You can log your weight. You can um, talk with other, I guess, clients of his would be the right term. Uh, so other people in the same boat working on the same platform with the same trainer. Um, you guys can message each other. So that's some cool and uplifting. Um, those are easy 30-minute workouts, like kill the dad bod type of mentality with those. So those are great. You could talk about that and uh, maybe have Tyler on to talk about that as well. 
Marathon training's been good. 10 miles on Friday. Uh, did eight, and then I picked up my son in the jogging stroller for the last two. Just get him out of the house and have some fun. I was also running, starting at like 6 a.m. Or 5.45 maybe, to get in the hour and a half of running <laughs> for 10 miles. So... Um, still having fun running is boring as, as many of you know, with the upcoming event, I want to do better than last time. Uh, but I probably wouldn't necessarily say at this point in time that I pursue, I will pursue more races in the future. It's definitely rewarding to be five miles away from your house, knowing you have five more miles to go and pushing through that. I'm no David Goggins figure, um, but I have learned a lot listening to his book and, and seeing some of his speeches, um, just pushing yourself through in those times when you don't necessarily want to do what you're doing, um, especially running with that guy. So I think about that when I'm out there and it's the halfway point and I'm out of water and I'm hot and I'm drenched in sweat and just uncomfortable. Don't want to do it anymore. You know, you just put one foot in front of the other and eventually I made it home. So that was a Friday experience of mine with 10 miles. I don't think all of them, all of the long runs will be like that. Um, just kids have been sick lately, so not the best rest, I think, is what was going on. Woke up early to get the run in after less than stellar sleep. Kind of takes the fun and the, the wind out of your sails. But we persevered, and we got it done. Uh, today is Sunday. You'll be listening to this on Monday. So if you'd like to see some more marathon prep, I'll still be putting out um, those workouts weekly for the duration of my training plan. So that's going to be on Instagram. Or if you're interested, um, you can email the saved show at gmail.com and I can get it to you uh, some way. That'll be something that I'm hoping to host on a new store page, new website, however that ends up looking in the future when we kind of do a redux of um, the savedshow.com, whatever that ends up looking like. <clears throat> um, planning on doing the live stream, like I mentioned, so I don't know if that'll be on Rumble or Kick. Uh, probably not on YouTube, but if anybody has any recommendations, let me know. I think Rumble might have some internal struggles not that i think i'm gonna have a flood of of watchers that's gonna mess with the servers or anything just i've seen some things it looks like it might be a little buggy with a live stream um but maybe it's fine and then i know that kick is the new latest and greatest platform so let me know uh if you have any suggestions and we will get that in the books i think it'll be a year in august it might be September, but September's kind of busy on uh, on my ranch, as it were. So might get that done in August and have some fun. I think also Rumble has a call-in feature, which would be cool to use. So if you want to engage with the show, you can uh, in real time, not DM or email or, or anything. We get you on the show. So like I said, want to provide value. I don't want to get on here and ramble. Um, I've done that successfully so far today. <laughs> Um, but we'll be providing value Mondays, Fridays from here on out. I do have a guest lined up to record with on Thursday. Thursday of this week. So that'll be fun. This is a gentleman who actually messaged me to be on the show, um, which is a first. So very honored and uh, humbled by that. And I'm looking forward to recording with him. Should be a good conversation. <coughs> So I'm going through a Bible study on Wednesdays. Uh, this week is our last meeting. We were going through a book about the Sermon on the Mount. Uh, it's an eight-week study for groups or for the individual. And one of the things that I remembered we've recorded on in the past is four biblical principles of masculinity. And that was received well. So I think that there's a, a thirst or a desire out there for the... I don't know, red pill, like masculinity stuff that's out there, but tying it more towards the biblical um, masculinity and, and what we should be striving for as Christian men in a not-so-Christian country, nation, time, era, period. Um, Mr. Thesaurus today. But one of the things that I would like to start out with is just uh, one principle or one character trait um, right here. If 
if we think this is worth pursuing, uh, we'll move into other character traits. Um, being in the Marine Corps, I studied JJ did tie buckle. If you know, you know. Um, but that is a list of character traits uh, that are supposed to be a part of you as a Marine. And um, we could even do JJ did tie buckle if we want, just one letter at a time. But today, uh, integrity will be that character trait, will be that uh, topic, and we will get through it um, just a few minutes here. So from the dictionary, integrity is the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles, moral uprightness, um, and we don't need the engineering definition. So the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles, moral uprightness. Um, and I was actually doing my last uh, performance review with my manager in my workplace and uh, it's kind of that generic HR thing but there is character traits that you're rated on in that um, and it's one of those bureaucratic systems where everybody gets a, a three out of five or you know everybody gets a four out of five um, and we kind of play the game um, but my boss did go for it and he gave me uh, the four out of five for integrity so that meant a lot uh, integrity is huge for me as an individual, so um, not just from my time in the Marine Corps. I feel like that's been my whole life through trying to be the person you are in public and having that be the same person you are when the door is closed and you're at home alone. Uh, but in this book uh, that we're going through for my Bible study on the Sermon on the Mount, we obviously are reading uh, right through the Sermon on the Mount with some discussion from the author um, after certain passages. So when it came to the passage on oaths, um, this is Matthew 5, 33. I'll uh, read the passage on oaths and uh, just offer a brief discussion on integrity. Again, you have heard that it was said to the people long ago, Do not break your oath, but fulfill to the Lord the vows you have made. But I tell you, do not swear an oath at all, either by heaven, for it is God's throne, or by the earth, for it is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not swear by your head, for you cannot make even one hair white or black. All you need to say is simply yes or no. Anything beyond this comes from the evil one. So, Christ is offering here is to simply be a person uh, of your word. In 37, all you need to say is simply yes or no. Yes or no. Um, whatever it is, don't swear by earth, heaven, God's, th uh, God's throne, God's footstool, Jerusalem. Um, Jerusalem might not apply to us these days, but whatever it is, if someone asks you to do something, say yes say no. Anything else comes from the evil one. Um, so as we discuss integrity and why that's important as a man, your family, your wife, your kids are relying on you to be a man of your word. If you say you're going to play with your kid, you got to play with your kid. If you say you're going to provide, then you have to provide. You have to go to work and you have to toil. And that's just what we have to do as men. I don't always like going to work every day, but I gave my wife my word that we would be okay. And f for whatever I can do within my own power, um, we're going to do that to make sure that they're provided for, my family, my wife, and my kids. And a lot of the rest of it that makes up the difference is, is God. But I'll be a man of my word. I'll be a man of uh, integrity. Um, when nobody else is looking, I'm not, you know, I don't go to the bathroom and have my alone time when the house is empty, if if you know what I mean. Um, as it pertains to a diet, um, less less intense than, than thinking about sin, but if you have said that you're going to stick to a plan, uh, calorie counting, or you're working with a, a fitness trainer, like I find myself doing it, um, if you say you're going to do that workout or stick to that diet, then those are the things that you're going to follow through on. And slowly over time, um, with fitness as an example, we'll just stay right here, slowly over time you will get in shape because you've actually stuck to your word. You've become a better man 
internally because you're sticking to your word. You're being a man of integrity. You're keeping your word. But on the plus side, you have the physicality where you're leaning out, you're getting stronger, whatever that that goal is, but you're sticking to it. Um, and I think integrity is important to me because consistency comes with that. If, if you say you're going to do something, you have to do it. You do that consistently enough and you'll see results. So there you go. We'll go through biblical uh, characteristics, biblical traits of men. And um, if you find that this is helpful, just short digestible discussions on a p particular characteristic, let me know. We'll continue to do this. Um, I will try to match the scripture with my own thoughts. Um, not guaranteed to 100% be correct, but I will um, find scripture that actually pertains to what we're going to be discussing instead of cherry picking a verse. So... As you head into your week, um, let me know if there's anything that we can do to pray for you. It is Monday, my dudes. Let's get out and get after it. Um, if you're driving to work right now, Godspeed. Thank you for being a man of your word and providing for your family. And if you're at the gym listening to this, that's awesome. Let me know what you're doing to work out. I will be running six miles, I think. <sighs> yeah, that's six miles. Wish me luck. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. I said I was going to do it, so I'm going to stick to it. If I back out of doing the marathon and not training right now and then just try to do it in October, I will die. So having some integrity with my workouts will definitely go a long way. All you need to say is simply yes or no. Be a man of your word. Tune in on uh, Friday, and I'll get that guest episode out here shortly. Thanks, everybody. God loves us. He's done a lot for us. We're all blessed. And don't forget, you are saved through Christ.